Hi, this is Summer with Summer's Tips and Stitches, and today I'm going to show you a little bit about the description box in these YouTube videos. That's me right there. And I'm also going to show you how to find or what to do with these um, pattern links to Ravelry and a little bit on how to navigate Ravelry. I am no expert in Ravelry, but I will do my best to share with you what I know. So this is the video that I made called Mandala Ombre Cakes, Was It Worth the Wait? And the reason I'm showing you this is because in the description box, and this is the part of the description box, I have some links. So if you click on this where it says show more, all of the information that I wanted to share with you in this video are right here. Here is a link to a tutorial that I made on how to make a baby hat. Here is a link to Leah's Handmade Crafts. And this is the video where she opened the package that I mailed to her. You click on these and they will take you to a new YouTube tutorial. Right down here are two patterns that I'm sharing with you that I found on Ravelry. This one is a rainbow ripple baby blanket and this is a baby sweater. If you click on these links, they will open right up to the pattern page that Ravelry has for them. Now, I am going to show you guys that in a bit because I'm pretty sure most of you, if you're watching this, do not have a Ravelry account or don't know how to get started. So right here is, oh, this is the Rainbow Ripple page. So if you clicked, clicked on this link right here, it's gonna open you up to this page. This is information that you need to know about the Rainbow Ripple baby blanket. It talks about who designed it, that it's crochet, it tells you what kind of yarn they use, that it's worsted weight, your gauge, your hook size, and then if you come right down here, this is where you click to download the pattern, okay? Also, if you don't want to print the pattern right away and you like the look of it and you know you just like it, you can go over here and click in my library and this pattern will get put in your library and Ravelry and you will be able to go to your library to look at the patterns you've saved, pull up ones that you need. Okay, so I'm gonna take you to the request sign up. If you just type in Ravelry.com, right here, this is where you're gonna look, and it has a little bit of information about join Ravelry. Get your sign up. It tells you to how you can get a free Ravelry account. You need to have an email address. And usually the only reason that email address is used is if you are purchasing a pattern, um, they will email it to that account and they're telling you they are not gonna give you any spam. And then right here is a picture of a bunch of Ravelry folks. I'm not quite sure. Oh, they're at the New York Sheep and Wool Festival 2018. I just want you all to see them together, okay. So you would enter your email address right here, or you could go over here to create an account. Now, I already have an account, but I will tell you, start thinking now, because if you want to create an account, you need to have a username. So sign in. My email address is right there. Hopefully that is my correct password. And this is where, also, this is where you sign in. So they've got some animals that give you yarn that you can get, little dog. And then right here again, <coughs> if you are not on, you can still click here to join. Also remember folks, there is a feature that your computer can remember your passwords for you. And this is handy for those of you who don't write them down and we got passwords in every type of account and they all want you to use capital letters, lowercase letters, letters symbols, numbers and all that, sometimes it's nice to click this. If you're not sharing a computer with a lot of folks, clicking that will be nice. Now I tried to change my password so I could log out for you guys. So I'm gonna see if I can enter with this. If it has the right information. Okay, no. Oh, it did. So there it is, it says, hi yes, Summerlin1979. That is my username. Now you can go right here and start working on your profile if you would like. This is where you enter in your email address, where you enter 
your personal information, where you live. Look here, apparently I have um, typed in information already on there. Um, and um, you can also, I guess, link your Instagram, which I did, other social sites, and then you can type a bio about yourself. I have a really difficult time typing bios, so I do not have one. Okay, so that is all viewed from this information here. At any point in time, if you've changed or want to edit information, you can edit your profile. Here, this little symbol here is telling me that somebody has sent me a note or a friend request. Right there. Somebody is sending me a friend request. I would like to go back to the home screen of Ravelry. Um, here, they oftentimes will feature different pattern designers or most popular patterns. So whenever somebody asks you to like or to favorite their pattern or put it in your library, the more popular a pattern is, the more likely it is to be featured on this page. So that is what that is. Now, let's hop right into looking for patterns. Click on here. You can type a name of a pattern here, or you could type something like baby blanket, or amigurumi, or sweater, or anything that you are lo lo looking to crochet. I'm gonna write in dishcloth. I am typing with one hand because I'm holding the other. And then you can come down here. You can click on to knit and crochet, just crochet, or knitting. Also right here, they are showing you, these are some hot popular patterns right now. So if while you're deciding you're gonna look about dishcloths and you see something here you like, that is, an, that is um, options. Also, it looks like they're featuring someone over here, featured advertisers. So there's a lot of information, and I'm gonna be honest, you guys, I barely read through any of this. I just go right here, I type in dishcloth, I click on crochet, and then I search. Now, here are, it says right here, all of the patterns they have. Somewhere I feel like it oftentimes will tell you. Now, you can further um, edit this, if you would like, and you can come over here and click free if you want to. And then they would show you 308 free crochet patterns. Do you see how I just scrolled down? This is still the pattern. It still says dishcloth. It still says crochet. And then if I just come down right down here, I can change it to free. I can change it to purchase only. That means none of the free patterns will be there. Only patterns that you have to buy. I can change it to buying ones that are in print. So this would be pattern books. And then down here you can click on Ravelry download. So these are patterns that are only available through an electronic. You can modify it also to where it only shows pictures. This one, there's only three patterns that have no photos. And then you can go even further. Let's say you want to do a dishcloth that has a lot of color work. You could click that. And there's 137 of them where you're going to be changing your colors. Okay, so this is all the information that you can get from clicking on a pattern, for searching out a pattern. This is just a simple dishcloth pattern for crochet, and then I'm gonna go ahead and click on free. Now, it is now filtered out all of the pot patterns that I would have to pay for. Everything here is free. Now, I will tell you, sometimes I do get a little confused as a, you, as a Ravelry user on how to um, find the pattern. So let's go, I like these. Let's click on those, coming up 4th of July. This is a little star dishcloth or washcloth. Here we know that it's crochet, it's uh, cleaning, it's under cleaning and washcloths, worsted weight, hook, and then right down here, available for free. Now if I am not going to print and make this right away, I would come over here and click add to library. 
Now this pattern is in my library and I'll show you how to get that later. And I'll never have to type this in to find it again. Although I'm gonna tell you what folks, even though I do that, I oftentimes forget what's in my library and I forget to go and I have to type it in. <laughs> um, also over here, it looks like um, it is average difficulty. People have rated it, they've given it a five star. So sometimes you might wanna come over here and look because I will say I have found some difficult patterns, difficult patterns to read on Ravelry, but overall people are giving it a five, almost a five star, 4.7. And they are saying that this is an average difficulty. Okay, so you can find that stats over here. Um, if I'd like to get this pattern, click it right there. And it looks like it has taken me off of the Ravelry site and now to um, Bella Crochet's blog spot. And now you are going to have to figure out how Bella Crochet wants to share this easy pattern for you. She's got a lot of pictures and it looks like right here, she has got all the information typed up right here for you. So you can either use this from your iPad or your phone or your computer right like this, or if you're someone like me that likes to have a written copy. Do you see I'm highlighting all of this? And I'm going to right click and copy and then you can go over to your Word document and you can copy and paste this into a Word document and now I have a written pattern. Now I don't know if you guys see how crazy this looks that's because my husband is cheap and won't download Windows Office. So I have a generic free version he got off the internet and it doesn't it's not compatible. So I'm going to have to go in there eventually myself and make edit this a little bit to make it look perfect. I'll have to make it, you know, a bigger side, change it to a new font, and then I'll have to go through here and every time you see one of those little marks, I'll have to hit enter. So anyway, but you probably would not have to do that, okay? So I'm gonna minimize this because you guys don't need to see that, but this is where Ravelry took us. Now, don't worry friends, you can go right back to Ravelry. This is the new window they opened for Bella Crochet Little Star Dishcloths. See, there they are. And then this is the Ravelry. So you could say, you know what? You still have your pattern right there. You can go over here and maybe go back and look for a different pattern. Maybe that one was too hard for you. You're like, you know what, I just can't do a star. I need to do a plain, plain cloth. This looks like a nice one and you click on that. Here this again is telling you it's crochet, it's using Lily Sugar and Cream, worsted weight. This one wants a 5.5 hook. And you click on this for, there's the pattern. Again, this one opened it up on a completely different website. And here is the written pattern. Okay, and then like I said, if you wanted, you could highlight this. Right click it, copy, and you could paste this in your own Word document. If you want to put a space between there. If you want to keep it on a paper and then send it to your printer and print. Okay, so that is how you find patterns. Remember that you click on patterns, you type here what you wanna look, you type crochet, dishcloths. Now, there you go, dishcloth patterns. Over here, you can do a lot by yarns. Here they list some very popular yarns. Man Mandala Ombres are very popular right now. And they have 85 projects that you can use with that yarn. Here are some other types of yarn. Or if you want, you could come over here and type in, oh, look at that. <laughs> These are all the patterns that I've been looking at right now. I would maybe type in Karen Simply soft as you all know i love me some karen simply soft and here karen simply soft brights stripes 
holiday. These are all the types. Let's do Simply Soft Brights. And they are telling you about that yarn. And then here are a bunch of different colors. And look at this, projects. Projects, 157 projects made out of lime, Karen Simply Soft. Also, there's something here called stashed. I do not know about this yet part, this part of it yet, friends, but you can record in here that you have this yarn. I suppose I could click right here, add to your stash. I don't actually have this one, so I'm not gonna do it, but you can record every single type of yarn you have in your stash so that you have a list in your Ravelry. I have not done that. Okay, so over here, you can look up your friends, search for a name of a designer, um, the proper pineapple, the dabbling hook, you know, that's it's my birthday shawl. You can search friends here. Um, a lot of YouTubers will mention that they have a Ravelry account and you can search them and add them to your friends. Groups. This is, I'm actually part of one group right here. This is the group that um, Debbie the Canadian Crotcher and Karen from Happiness Homemade created to host their crochet along. And so when I was here, you click on that. These are a bunch of the projects and the people that were in this group. We have a chatter thread, and this is where people can just chat with each other about their projects. And this is their finished object thread. Let's get in there. And so in this, they said no chattering, and you would just post a picture of your finished object that you crocheted for this crochet along. And then here you can share patterns, talk to each other, each other encourage each other, whatever you're gonna do. And I think this might actually still be open. Okay, so that is groups. I've never gone to this help, but here you go. If you're a design advertiser and you wish to advertise, you could probably get some questions answered here. If you're a designer, you want to share some of your patterns, you can click here. If you're someone who likes to sell yarn or make their own yarn, okay, so that came under help. Now, you guys, we're 17 minutes, but hopefully you're enjoying this. This doesn't seem real fun, does it? I wish I could spark it up for you. So over here is my little picture. Let's see if I can get it real close for you to see. Look, there I am. I'm at Hobby Lobby going, shh. Like, don't tell I'm at Hobby Lobby. Okay, so here is my notebook. This is a list of projects that I have made and I took pictures of them and then you can click on them and share information about that picture. Let's close it. So these are different projects that I have entered on Ravelry and took pictures of. I'm gonna be honest, I enter far less on here than I really make. Let's go back to my notebook. This is the stash. This is where you can enter your yarn. You can add a yarn to your stash by clicking here, typing what you want to enter. I got it from a local yarn store. I got it online. I got it from a chain store. Name of your stash, company, blah, blah, blah. You'll figure all this out. I have not entered any of my stash in here. This word is Q, and I don't know what this bunch is about, so I'm not going to talk about it. I've never used it. These are my favorite patterns. I look through sometimes on my phone. This is the one I'm about to print off. This is from the Proper Pineapple and it's a fingering weight yarn and it's a, it's a V shawl, uh, shawl scarf. I'm very excited about it. I just made this one. And these are other patterns that other people that have talked about that they were gonna buy or they made and I would go type it in and I'd save it. This is one that Debbie the Canadian Cratcher made. This one is made with those little sheepy bonbons. These, here's another um, pattern from Holly. This is my favorite baby sweater that I make over and over again. So this are my favorites. I'm gonna be honest, I, I, I don't know what to do with this other than to mark that it's my favorite. And then Holly said, when she presented this pattern in her video, please mark it as your favorite. So once you mark something as your favorite, it becomes a more popular pattern. So I did that for her and I am really excited. Okay, so notebook. Over here, 
This is where you have a list of all your friends, and I believe you can search new friends right there. And then over here, I'm going back to my notebook. And the one I really, groups and events, that's again the one. This is where you go for crochet alongs, make alongs, knit alongs, craft alongs, those kind of groups. You can also inventory your needles in your hooks. I have not done that. And the one that I'd use the most frequently is my library. These are the patterns that were for free that I saved. Look, I just did this one, remember? And the baby, I did this for you guys to be able to easily find. Um, but these are patterns that I have purchased. This one here I just purchased and I'm gonna start making it and I'm gonna do a video on it. Or have liked or made, I purchased this one. This is Holly's, it's my birthday, mystery sh shawl. And you save these in here. These are all actually downloaded patterns here. So if I want to make this pattern again, I just click on this, and here is the downloaded pattern file stored. If you purchase a pattern like this, I bought this pattern, this is stored in my library. You can store it onto your phone, but Ravelry is letting you store your patterns here. Look, it says I have 20 of them. Um, and then the only other thing that I really know, I don't really go to forums very often. I don't really ever go there. It says I have posts, so that's probably from Holly the Proper Pineapple or Canadian Crotcheters groups. Um, yeah, so that is a kind of a basic rundown on Ravelry. Here, it, like I said, somebody sent me a message and I can click on this and I can add her to my friends knit list and now I've got a Ravelry friend. Sometimes you can send them messages, create a message, say, hey, did you see this pattern? I think you really like it or whatever, I don't know. Um, I don't really send too many messages. Like I said, the biggest thing I do is I search for patterns right here type in what I want, and you can be very basic or you can be very specific. And then I store them in my notebook over here under either library or favorites. You guys, I hope this Ravelry kind of tutorial helps you. If there's more questions you have, I can hit that up and maybe another video. And then I wanna remind you again, these, once you've signed up for your Ravelry account here, anytime you see in somebody's description box, you click on this right here, that will open right up in Ravelry for you and you'll be able to get this pattern if you want it. Okay, friends, this has been a really long, uneventful, unexciting video and I'm so sorry. Hopefully you made it through it and remember, We've got that giveaway coming up. Um, that's my next video will be opening up that giveaway. Or it will be uh, me announcing the winner of the 7,000 subscriber giveaway. So to close this out, I'm going to go to the Ravelry page right here. And um, end this long snore fest. <laughs> okay, thanks for watching and subscribing. Thanks for watching, sharing, liking my videos, and happy crafting. Happy crafting. Bye.